Hi guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you very much for always having you here. Please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you have not. Thank you very much once again. May God bless you all. Hmm. They say wonders shall never cease to end. All this why Nigerian government is doing giddy 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 about all these agitations. We we'll go kill them. We we'll go do this and that. We we'll not know say for side then they look for a way when they, they take you know make them bribe them you understand make them forget their agitations and all that borotai promised Igbo billions of naira in bene prison to renounce yoruba nation agitation he rejected the bribe now king toy now he tell us this one the yoruba historian and the Arrowhead of the struggle for the independence of the Ududuwa nation, Banji Akintoye has accused the former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Taku Burtai, retired of trying to Karjuru agitator Sunday Adeyomo, popularly known as Sunday Boot, withdraw from the agitations. In an interview with the Punch, Akintoye said during the Agitators trivials in the West African country, Borotai had through his influence as the Enveror sneaked a paper to Ibu in prison, promising him billions of naira if only he would renounce his agitations for the Yoruba nation. He, however, said Ibu refused to sign the paper, which was later taken away by Borotai. When asked about the, the status of the court case against Igbo in the Benin Republic, Akintoye said the young man has been completely released. He said he has been released completely. He has won the heart of the people here for his strength of character. They brought money to, his, to this young man. How many of our young men will do that? He asked. The former chief of army staff, Lieutenant General Taku Borotai came to him in the prison, promising him billions of naira if he would just sign a paper that Borotai brought, that he, Igbo, should say he had renounced the Yoruba nation struggle, that he did not want the Yoruba nation struggle anymore, that he had opted out of it. Nobody will give me such a paper except Borotai himself, but Sunday saw the paper, Borotai took it away. Hmm. I have said it before that if Nigeria eventually gets better, kudos to Omoyele Oshoware, kudos to Namdi Kanu, the Biafra, uh, the IPOB leader, kudos to Sunday Igbo, the late Malaysia, Baba Femi Falena, and lastly, the Nigerian youth for pulling the Momenta and SARS protest. Always remember that freedom comes by struggle. On the mandate of a Yoruba nation, we shall stand. Why we need to vote for Peter Obi is because if you are not satisfied with this, with his administration, you can protest and he will listen to you. But Tinubu or Atiku won't even let you protest. Soldiers will just shoot you and steal the bodies away so that there will be no evidence. Only those with divine understanding will understand what I am saying. God bless all the obedient Nigerians and bless all of us in this. The local and the illiterate comrade, they all denounced and rejected. I bet your educated comrades will accept the offer cheerfully. Sometimes we should not be concerned about we. Sometimes we should not be concerned. I beg your pardon. The local and illiteracy comrades, they all denounced and rejected. I bet your educated comrades will accept the offer cheerfully. Sometimes. We should not be concerned about the container. The content inside should be our priority. Mr. Sunday Igbo fought a good fight, and I guess he's still on it. And they thought 
by giving Tinubu presidency will stop the coming of Yoruba nation. Igbo is a brave man, just as Mazin Namdekano. Nigeria must separate later or sooner. I don't know what is the problem with these northern people. If Nigerians divide, can't you people survive it? Why is it that you northerners are fighting with everything possible just to keep Nigeria as one? Why did Brutai want to bribe him? Definitely, they have a bad agenda. Thank God Igbo declined. Igbo rejected it, so why has he not cough out Yoruba nation since they release him? I beg, leave matter for matter, yes. The money Brutai stole is enough to fill the citizens of Nigeria. You know it is too bad to be true. How can I buy the story a cheap commodity? Some local media outlet in Nigeria must rise to the occasion. However, verification of certain things people just talk. Hmm? This matter beg. How he could take bribes on the book? But Banji Akinto, you say that. How can an old man be lying what he knows it did not happen? You know, some, some, uh, so many persons, in, uh, some, most Nigerians, everything is fake, fake, fake. Even when they are saying the evidence is fake. That is why they are saying Peter Obi as the only candidate who can rescue, rescue us from this mess. People are still saying he's not, he's not re, he's this and that and that and all that. That is how we continue in this. We go still day here. Now like this, we go the day. All the time. Fake, fake, fake. This one is fake. Even when you see the true person, no, fake. That is just, you know, them for you. Anyway, <laughs> beg cannot just talk too much on that side. Someone said, hmm, that is what they are expecting Mazen Namdekanu to do. Which Mazen Namdekanu can never collect bribe over Biafra. On the Yoruba nation, we stand. I'm dropping it here, guys. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for stopping by. Bye for now.